Hello friends, welcome. Now uh, let's see also some best practices. Uh, so avoid naming collisions as I mentioned, like always use a prefix or PHP namespace uh, to avoid because developers around the world shared a common uh, thinking and uh, we should avoid a name, common naming conventions in the variable name also, uh, in, in the functions name also, in the classes also, right? So avoid a naming collision. Uh, procedural coding method if you follow that use the namespace as I mentioned uh, to differentiate your uh, classes and functions then prefix everything classes it's good thing then check for existing implementation these are the checks are very helpful if you are using any uh, functions of workplace okay uh, like we talked about the required at least and required PHP but still um, if you want to just make sure that uh, we want to make sure that we, before using this for PHP uh, function if that, uh, let me give a simple example. You are using some one of the one function, which is available in PHP 7 version, but it's not available on PHP 5.6 or older versions. Okay. So if the PHP, uh, then we can check as a developer. If the PHP version is seven, then we will use this function else we will use another function. So kind of thing. So this, this prevent uh, the fatal error, just in case if, the user has an older version and if we are calling the function which only available from 7.7 .7 version and from the uh, newer uh, later version then it can create a problem right so those things we also have to check so you can these checks are very helpful okay then object oriented programming method you can also do that uh, and for file, file organization you can follow any file structure and these are the folder structure uh, like you can follow also and it's it's up to it's up to the developer what are uh, depends on the plugins code base size uh, either you can uh, you can have some different folder structure which uh, you know comfortable for you and easy to manage so those kind of folder structure you can follow and if it's plugins only few few files like two or three files then I, maybe you can just create a simple folder and keep it all the file in the folder or maybe on the root folder itself Okay, but it depends on how, what, what is the plugin and what that plugins provide the features and functionality, how large code base is there of the plugin. Okay, so these are the basic things uh, of the plugins basics. Okay, see you on the next video. Jai WordPress.